Hi there, most of you know me as Catherine Knight in Second Life. I just wrote the book, Your Virtual World Business Guide, Success Through Creativity in the Second Life World. Uh, what this is is a tutorial in Photoshop to make a very basic shirt. This shirt will not have all the bells and whistles like um, shading and wrinkles and things like that. This is just a very basic tutorial to show you how it's done. So the first thing we want to do is pull up our template. As you can see I already have mine pulled up and all I did was go to File, Open, and then pull up my template which is my upper body template and click Open. So now you see it's ready. Now the first thing you want to do is create a layer. Now there's a little box over here in your Adobe and all you have to do is this little icon here creates a new layer. So you click on that. So now there's a new layer in case you mess up or you need to edit it later. So what I'm going to do right now is I go over here to this color palette and I already have black selected. I would click OK. And then I have my paintbrush tool here and I can make it smaller or larger as I need to. Now very roughly I'm just going to fill in the shirt like so. Like I said, this is very rough. You could do it a lot neater and have it a lot more intricate, but this is just for an example. So I fill all this in, and I'm going to make some long sleeves on it as well. So I'm going to put those on there real quick. The, uh, the game only sees what is within the lines anyway. So you don't technically have to be perfect, but it still is nicer to be. Okay, so I want a collar on this, so what I'm going to do is go over here to this eraser tool and click on it. I've got my tool, and as you can see, the little lines running through the template. You're just going to cut it out right along those lines. I'm not going to be a perfectionist here because this is just a tutorial, but you could definitely get some templates going with nice smooth lines and that would be ideal. And I'm going to cut out the neck over here so that the shirt doesn't stick up funny. Okay. Now what I want to do next is I want to add something to the shirt because right now it's just a black blob. So I'm going to go over here to my color palette and I'm going to click on red. And I'm going to add a paw. Here's my shape tool here. Click on this up here to open this menu and you can see all kinds of different shapes and I like the paw. So now I take and click on my screen and drag with my mouse. You can see the paw shape appear. And there it is. And I can take this tool here, the pointer, and then just move this anywhere I want it. I could put it on the back, on the front, on a sleeve, whatever I want. I'm going to leave it right here. Okay? Now, all these lines will appear in Second Life unless you get rid of them. And how you do that is you go back down here to this little toolbox. This toolbox is your friend. There's an overlay layer, which you can make disappear by clicking this little eye. And there's a background layer which you can also make disappear. You want this checkered look. This means there's nothing behind it. And you're going to save this. File, save as. You're going to go right here to this format bar and click Targa. TGA, Targa. Okay. Let's name it Example save it. You want 32 bits. Don't compress it. Click OK. Now it's ready. Now when you go into that folder, you will see that your example shirt is right here saved as a TGA. It looks like it has a white background here, but when you load it into SL, it will have uh, just this checkered background and you'll be able to apply it to your avatar. So basically that's how you make a basic shirt, and again, my book is your virtual world business guide, Success Through Creativity in the Second Life World, and you can 
find it online here on Create Space, in Second Life, on X Street, and um, Amazon will have it very soon. Thank you for watching and have a good day.